Welcome to Kilo Code, a lightning fast AI code agent right in VS Code. Now to get started, super easy, install it from the VS Code extensions marketplace and then we'll pop up in your sidebar. I'll give you some tips on what to do and what you can do, I should say. And uh, you just log in with your uh, Google account. It will automatically give you $15 in free credits so you can start uh, yeah, start coding. And now I'd like to create a Hacker News clone. I'm a big fan of the of the website, so let's uh, let's start creating it. You'll see that it's contacting the LLM that you've chosen. That can be uh, Claude 3.7, which we provide out of the box, but also any other uh, any other AI um, providers that you'd like. Um, it shows you an overview of the cost that you're making the task and it will show you exactly all of the different steps uh, that it's doing. It'll do this, do this in the background, um, but it will give you checkpoints at different steps. So if you want to go back and you didn't really like how it did something, you know, that's totally fine. Uh, you can do that. So it's going ahead. It's, uh, it's coding something up for us and uh, we'll be able to see, uh, to see that soon. And you can click on the, on each step, each checkpoint to see the diff up until that, uh, that point in time, or you can just enjoy uh, watching it code along and uh, create some, uh, some amazing things for us. Now we're building this together with you. Um, and what does that mean? That means one, we have a very a generous a free tier and that's mainly because we want to hear your feedback we uh, have a feedback button right in the bottom click on that and you'll be able to chat with us on discord you'll be able to uh, add some github issues jump in the discussions we really want we're building this fast and we want to build this fast with you okay so um, it's going ahead. In the meantime, I'm going to share some of my favorite features with you. We're in code mode right now, and you can see that here at the bottom, code mode. Um, but there's different kinds of modes. Uh, sometimes I don't want to code something. I want to actually ask it something. You know, maybe I have a problem. Maybe I want to figure out how something works. I can ask it, switch to ask mode, or one of my favorite modes is architect mode. And architect mode allows you to kind of like take a step back for a second and get an idea of how you want to approach something. Uh, of course, these AI models, they do take time. We're doing our very best to uh, really speed everything up using the fastest models we have and uh, integrating things like uh, fireworks to, uh, to make sure that, uh, that things go uh, quickly and smoothly. But architect mode is uh, kind of nice because it uh, gives you an idea of, of what it's about to do before it actually uh, before it actually does it. And uh, you get to steer in that way. And you get to say, no, actually, do you know what? I didn't want to use Node for this. I wanted to use uh, something else. You know, Python, Django, for example. Or maybe, um, I don't know, there's some other architecture choices that, um, that we care about. So... Um, that is uh, one of my favorite modes, and you can add you can add your own modes as well. So uh, what's it doing right now? It's uh, trying to create a GIF, and it's failing at it. But that's totally fine because that's what life is part of, right? We uh, we make mistakes, and then we recover, and just like just like that, the agent does the same. So it is already running it. You can see it can actually check the web browser and check to see if it did a good job and it's right on top of that so this looks pretty good at this point in time and there it is it's actually completed the task um so and it's asking me if i want to open it in my web browser and here it is this looks pretty good looks like the real thing now uh let's switch over to architect mode for a second okay and let's see what it's like to add persistence. Okay, so it's, uh, it's checking, it's analyzing the code base, and it's analyzing what it did before, and it's gonna, gonna go ahead and give us a good plan of attack. So it saw that it changes to, to architect mode and uh, it's going to give us some pros and cons of different d databases of what we have right now. 
and actually, oh, if I scroll up a little bit, it's actually given us a little uh, data model. So that's kind of cool. These are great. This is a great time to kind of like step in. Oh, um, here we go. It actually asks us which approach do we prefer? Well, for now, I like the simpler approach, SQLite. It's actually gaining some traction right now. So uh, let's go ahead and choose that one. And it's gonna, it's gonna work on it. Create a little plan for us. Create the database schema. Of course, different databases, different, different, different flavors have different considerations and uh, it's gonna give us a good plan of attack, which we'll be, then be able to implement using the, the uh, code mode, code mode. So I hope you like this demo. We want to really create together with you. So uh, yeah. I'll see you, see you on, see you online. Looking forward to chat with you. Bye-bye.